Hey there, internet. My name's Daniel, and this is gonna be a step-by-step -step guide on how to get a job or internship. So the first step is tell your family, friends, those circle around you that you're looking for a job or internship. If they know any leads or anyone, get your name out there. It's not about what you know, it's about who you know. And I know this sounds very bad, but if you have a 4.0, that's phenomenal. But if no one knows that and no one knows you're looking for a job, it doesn't help you. So then again, it is about who you know, not what you know in this case. So the next step would be tell your friends that you're looking for a job. This would be your colleagues in, co in college, not necessarily those outside of college. So tell your classmates that you know, you're looking for a job sometime, or internship. Sometimes they're either working at a firm, they're interning at a firm, they just finished interning and then that opened up, or they know that there's an opening in their firm or they go look in their firm's portal. So a lot of times this can help lead to a job, just let them know. My first internship I got was from a classmate of mine who mother uh, was a partner in a firm uh, and then I asked him if I could forward my resume to her, and I did, and then I got, a, I got an interview, I showed up and I got the internship. So that was my first internship, so I got it through a friend. The next step would be ask upperclassmen. If you feel comfortable, speak to those who are a year or two or a few years older than you, uh, and who already are in the field or have an internship, and they already, they already been there. Everyone's been there already, so don't worry about being nervous. We've all done it. So they'll understand where you're coming from, so just, get out there, ask them, hey, you know, I'm looking for a job or internship, and same thing. Hopefully they'll lead to something. The next step would be speak to your professors and or advisors or people in your, you know, school. These people don't want to necessarily hand you a job on a silver platter, but if something comes their way, if an alumni reaches out to them saying, hey, you know, my company's looking for something, at least you'll be like, oh, I know so-and-so is looking, and they'll send it to you. Or they'll blast the email and you'll be on that email list. So it's definitely um, important to make that connection, at least let them know. As long as they know you're looking, that's what you're going for. The next step would be is reach out to these school-wide emails that they send out. Sometimes it's through advisor, sometimes it's a school that sends it out or an alumni. Either respond to them if if it's right for you that you're looking for the job or take that email that they sent the email it's coming from you can even go f the old email you know uh, three four months back or even a year back now you have a contact within the company reach out to the contact directly say you know I'm looking for a job or you know or I you know I know you posted for a job recently whatever your game plan is but now you have a contact of an actual person that you can reach out to within the company and it'll be more personal Just be mindful and be respectful of their time the last step I would say is to go into Google look up whatever firm or whatever companies you're looking for. So in my case, structural engineering, I would Google structural engineering firms and then I live in New York, so in New York City. And I just go through all the New York City structural engineering firms and just look at each website, see if it's for me. If I'm looking for a larger firm, look for larger firms, smaller, smaller and mediums, likewise. You look at the firm, see what they're offering, see if maybe what you have fits, and then if so, apply to their website. Every company has somewhere you can send your resume. Sometimes it comes with a number, sometimes it comes with just an email. Either way, if it's just, you could just send it. Obviously this isn't the most reliable source because you are sending it into a black hole. Um, so you don't know if you're ever gonna even receive a response. If it's an email, you could follow up two or three times, but don't be too pushy. If you're really daring, maybe try for a phone call. Um, I personally never did that, but I know many people have called companies and they got interviews that way. But this is, I guess, your last step. I want to throw a few random tips out there that I think are helpful if you are looking for an internship or a job. So the first one is go to a resume writing workshop. Even if you have the best resume and you wrote it and you never got it looked over before, go to a resume workshop. They'll have some critique that probably will be beneficial. Almost every school offers a resume workshop, so you go to those. I know a lot of professional industries, I'm civil engineering, so I know the ASCE offers resume workshops once or twice a year. Um, you can send it into those. So get your resume looked over by a professional, family, friends, whatever. Um, the next step would be LinkedIn. Update your LinkedIn. This gives, you know allows people to Google search you and just be able to see all your credentials, um, you know, skills, whatever it is. It just comes across as a really polished person. And also, you could look at other people's LinkedIn uh, resumes, so, uh, profiles, so that when you're going for an interview, you at least know the other person. The last thing would be is practice interview questions. This may seem like, oh, you know all the answers already. At least t say it out loud. This way it, you can hear how you sound and if it sounds right or if you want to tweak something. It would be better if you have a friend or someone who's willing to sit down and even if they're not in your profession, they'll interview you and actually interview you. Give them the questions that they're gonna ask you beforehand and maybe ask them to ask a few random ones, but have someone sit down and actually talk to them and take it seriously and then afterwards ask them what their critique was. Sometimes there'll be things you didn't realize. Maybe you come across of two 
aggressive, I don't know, whatever it is, it could be anything. The last thing I wanted to say is don't be afraid to ask for help. Uh, it could be you know, a, a parent, it could be a sibling, it could be like a friend who's good at whatever. If they're good at it, don't be afraid to ask them and just say, hey, you know, do you have some time to look over whatever it is and they can help you. I know for me, I asked my mother to help look over my resume and she did and it really helped because she's really good at that. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there. So I hope this step-by-step -step guide helped you get your job and or internship. Please let me know in the comments below and let other people know what job you got and what method you use to get it so they can get encouragement and know that these methods actually work. Uh, please share this video with other people you know are looking for jobs that would find this helpful and don't know exactly where to start. I think this is a good place to start. At least it gives you a structure. And uh, please like this video and stay civil.